Welcome to Professor Fox. Here you will find the best in educational videos relating to accounting. Our mission is to make learning easier and more accessible than ever before. With our library of lectures and tutorials, you can learn from the best in this field, no matter where you are. Subscribe now and get ready to expand your knowledge and skill in the field of accounting. Today we are going to learn the accounting treatment of interest on capital. Interest on capital is the term used to describe the return earned at a normal rate from investing capital in the business. Suppose the businessman has deposited the capital amount in the bank at a normal rate instead of investing the same in the business. In such a case, he would have earned interest income and its receipt is almost certain also. Since he has invested the amount in the business as capital, he has foregone the bank interest income. Therefore, in order to know the efficiency of the business, it's a normal practice to charge with interest on capital employed at a normal rate. Any profit earned by the business over and above the interest on capital is treated as the real profit earned by the business. Interest on capital is an expense of the business. It is debited in the profit and loss account and it is credited in the capital account. There are two adjusting entries for interest on capital. When interest on capital is charged in the profit and loss account, general entry is profit and loss account debtor to interest on capital. When interest on capital is credited in the capital account, general entry is interest on capital account debtor to capital account. By combining the two adjusting entries, a single general entry is normally passed in actual practice. That is, we can eliminate interest on capital part from both the general entries, then we will get profit and loss account debtor to capital account. In short, Interest on capital is an expense to the business. It's debited in the profit and loss account and it is added with the capital in the liability side of the balance sheet. I conclude with Professor's logs, you can get the latest information on the topic that matters to you. Subscribe today and point out your comments. Start learning from the best. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you again.